Hi, I'm Mark Sarazano, registered piano technician from howtotunepianos.com. I'd like to ask you a question. What's so hard about tuning a piano? Well, doing it by ear is one difficulty, that's for sure. That's the number one reason why people give up and start using a computer or an electronic tuning device. But does a computer do a better job? How could we test an ETD or electronic tuning device? Well, we could tune a piano using an ETD. Then we could make the light stop to make sure that each note is exactly what the ETD says it should be. Then take three measurements of each note and average them and use the ETD to measure each partial frequency. Then you could use those measurements to calculate the beat rates of all the intervals. And then you can analyze those. Well, guess what? That's exactly what Corbin Sells did. A student of mine, he took his ETD he tuned the whole piano, making the light stop. He was very careful, he told me, and he took three measurements, recording one, recording two, recording three, and then he averaged them out. He's measured each of the partials. That was a tremendous amount of work, and I'm eternally grateful for all the work he did. You see, each one of those partials, up to the eighth partial, was measured according to the ETD, and what the ETD said those partials were. And then, with those numbers, you can calculate the beat rates. And this is what he did. Minor third, major third, fourth, fifth, minor sixth, major sixth, all these intervals. But look at this. We can go from F3 to F4 and take those beat rates and plug them into a spreadsheet that I created. There's the beat rates, BPS, and there's the graph. Not only that, we can take those beat rates and say something about them. For example, we could say that if we could increase the beat rates between 0 and 12%, the mathematical correct increase should be 6%. Well, let's give it a wide window, 0 and 12%. And if all of those major thirds are in that window, that's a great tuning, 100%. But if they aren't, then they start losing marks. And that's what happened with this tuning produced by the ETD. It only got 79% on the major thirds. It did very well on the fourths though, except for that one that's a bit too fast, 97%. Not bad, eh? But look at this. If you go to my website, scroll down, there's this link, have your temperament score. And what people do is they send me in their temperaments and I score them the exact same way. I record, filter, and measure their beat rates and plug them into the same spreadsheet. This one, which was one that I did in, I think I did it in one pass, and it got 94% on the major thirds using the same criteria I just showed you for measuring the ETD. The perfect fourths got 91%, not as good, and not as good as the ETD. But if we were to take those measurements and average them, the oral tuning got 93%, while the ETD got 88%. Well, you might say, I'm an experienced oral technician. Well, remember this, this website where all my students send in their tunings for me to measure? The ETD average was 88%, but this student got 89.5. This student got 98.5, and this one got 92.5. These are students just starting out. How did we do it? They used the GoApe Oral Piano Tuning System. I'm going to be talking about the GoApe Oral Piano Tuning System this Monday at 12 p.m. Eastern. If you would like to take part in this class, just register below for the free Zoom class on the GoApe Oral Piano Tuning System.